What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been about a month since I've released one. Uh, it's just because I've had some problems with the Audi recently. Um, nothing too serious. Well, maybe it's serious, but um, the front rotors have a solid crack through them. So, I don't know if you can see right here. Right, oh God, there. One there and then there's Another one like right there. Uh, you can't really see. And then there's also um, a few on the other side, on the driver's side. So the car has been down for probably about a week or two. And then the splitter I had to take off, as you can see, um, that was also causing some problems. Um, I have to remount the support rods kind of farther in, maybe on the crash bar just so that it's not putting too much stress on my bumper. Um, try and do some uh, like chassis bracing underneath to help a little bit more as well. Um, but today, we're gonna try and get the car back on the road. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to replace the rotors, the pads, and get that all done probably within an hour or so. But here we go, let's get started. So step one, break the lug nuts, or lug bolts, um, jack the car up, there's a jack point right there, and same thing goes on the other side. So let's do that, get the car in the air. All right, so as I'm taking the wheel off, I see a spider in here. Look at that. Bro, no free rides. I at least drove like 10 miles last night. And he's still there. What the heck? Look at him, he's moving around. Hi right there. So wild. So here it is. You can kind of see. Right, where is it, where is it? There we go. Crack there. No bueno crack there. Definitely no bueno. There's another one. I think there's another one. Ugh. Maybe not. But that's pretty dangerous. This can, if I get enough brake pressure on there, this could probably shatter. Um, and for some reason, it's actually just the passenger side. The driver's side, yeah, they're show, it's showing like some like glazing issue here, I'm not even sure. But there aren't any cracks on this one. Um, still gonna replace it though. It's not good to see. All right, the next step is to now remove the caliper. Uh, we have two bolts back here. Right here is one. This is going to be a 13. And back behind, which I don't know if you can see, right here are the carrier bolts. Uh, these are a 21. <clears throat> it's two of each. Uh, first take off the <clears throat> caliper part which um, holds the brake pads. Take that off, that's with the 13. Pop it off. I like to have a little like wash bucket um, to rest it on there because you don't want any weight being pulled on the, um, the brake lines themselves. And then after that you can remove the carrier mount which is this guy here, this one. Goes all the way around. That's with the 21 millimeter bolts. And take that off and then you have access to the rotor. And let's go ahead and do that now. So the caliper's off, here are the pads. You can see that they're, they're not in like the worst shape. Um, they still have a lot of life left, but for some reason they just weren't working well with the rotors. Um, also the car is just really heavy. So now we can go ahead and take off the, the carrier 
Uh, those are the 21 millimeter bolts. Um, and there's that bucket that I was telling you about just so that the brake line isn't holding up the caliper. So here we have carriers off. There it is. Now we just have to loosen this little, I think it's a T30, maybe a T25. That's basically all it's holding the rotor on now. So like this thing spins, all it is is just that. Um, really easy to get these off and then you can just kind of like knock the rotor and then it'll pop right off. And this is pretty fun to see. Um, after the rotor's off, boom. You can kind of see your like heat shielding for the brakes. Um, and nor and like some of the performance cars, the RS cars, they have holes here, um, and then little brake vents. So I will be doing that custom pretty soon here. Um, you can swap over the Porsche Macan heat shields or dust shields, whatever, and those are pretty cool. So I'll probably be doing that in another video. Uh, but let's go ahead and put the stock rotor on. All right, so stock rotor's back on. Put that little rotor bolt back in here. It doesn't need to be tight at all. Um, I would probably say, like at most, five foot pounds. Um, just basically putting it on there, just to hold that rotor in place. Like you should be able to just do it like like that. If you can't turn anymore with your hand, that's tight enough. Next, we will put the carrier back on, and. Put the stock bads back in the calipers, slide them on, and there it is. There we are, one side complete. Um, I will link all of the torque specs for the four bolts back there. Um, there are two, two of them are different, and I will link that in the description below. Um, when you put your new brake pads in, I did skip this step, you wanna put some grease, just a slight layer of grease on the back plates, uh, just like very little, just get some on your finger and rub it on there on both sides. Um, creates, makes it so that you don't have any squealing. And I will check in with you guys as soon as we're done with the other side. So from here, after everything is torqued down to spec, you've made sure that you have greased the back of the pads, got the rotors on, calipers on, everything is good to go. You can now throw the wheels back on, torque these to, I think it's, 90 foot-pounds on your lug bolts. After that, you are good to get back on the road. Actually, before, this has to go in base. All right. Pad retainers, these help keep the caliper like not shaking and stuff like that. So it goes just like this, and then you just have to push it in place, but I need two hands. There it is, now it's on. Now we can put the wheel on, my bad. I'm actually just gonna give you guys the torque spec in the video. So the two caliper bolts, the smaller skinnier ones that are longer, these guys right here, these are th 35 newton meters, or I believe that's, let's see, 35, or 28 foot pounds is I guess what those are. And then the two big bolts that are the caliper carriers for this guy, um, those are 75 newton meters, or, or no, 75, yeah, 75 newton meters, or it's going to be, I'm trying to look on here, trying to compare, um, I don't even know. So 75 newton meters for this, 35 newton meters for this one. So after you get the wheels on with the lug bolts, tighten them kind of tight, uh, don't torque them up in the air, wait till the car's on the ground, then you can torque it, that way it has all of the weight on the wheel. Um, that way you know you're getting a good solid mate between the wheel. And that is about it. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that quick and informational video about changing your brakes in your S4. Uh, this can be used for the S5, SQ5, Q5, probably RS5. It's all pretty much similar on the V7, V8s. Um, Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for another video that's coming out next week. I'm doing an Audi drive with uh, four groups. So it should be pretty busy. It'll be a fun one. Um, but thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one.